This is R D Sharma solution, class ten, maths, chapter nine, exercise nine point four of arithmetic progression. So this exercise can be different in different edition, but basically it's arithmetic progression. How many multiple of four lies between ten and two fifty? So in this type of question, we just write ten and two fifty here, and then we try to find out any number. Or the first number which comes after ten, which is divisible by four, and divisible by four, all the numbers divisible by four. That means it is quite clear that this d, what is this d? D is the common difference is four. The first term is will be the first term after ten, which is divisible by four. So which is the first term? It is you just have to divide one zero one zero one zero one means eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So what do you get? It's twelve. The first number, fourth, is a twelve, and just below this two fifty, which is the first number, or which is the number which is divisible by four, it is two forty eight. So our series is not this one. Our series is twelve, and then just add four, so sixteen, twenty, like this, up till two forty eight. Now A is what twelve. D is what four. So d is four, a is twelve, a and d is there. How many multiples you have to find out? Because we know the last number, so last number is equal to a plus n minus one into d. That is twelve plus n minus one into d. That is four, and you just have to solve n. So two forty eight minus four is what two forty four, and this is going to be uh, no two forty four minus twelve. Two forty eight minus twelve. So this is going to be uh, two. Thirty-six and divided by four, divided by four, it is going to be four. Four five is a twenty. Four nine is a thirty-six. So n minus one is going to be fifty-nine. So n is fifty-nine plus one, that is sixty. So there are sixty numbers between ten and two fifty which are divisible by four. How many three-digit numbers are divisible by seven? So same thing. Uh, the the question will be sol solved exactly the same way we did the last one. That is, what is the first three digit number? It is one zero zero, and what is the last three digit number? It is nine nine nine. So, which is the first first number after hundred, which is divisible by seven? So, you just have to see which number is there. One zero five. One zero five is the first number which is divisible by seven. So, one zero five is our a now, and nine 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 just below just. Uh, Prior to this number, which is the number which is divisible by four, you have to try for every every number nine nine eight nine nine seven nine nine six nine nine five, and you get nine nine four, which is like actually divisible by seven. So this is your L. Now, what is the what is the common difference? It is D because every number differ by seven. So you have A one zero five, you have L, and you just have this D also. So d is seven. So why not to find out n by a plus n minus one into d, which is nine ninety four. So a this is one zero four one zero five a plus n minus one into d. We don't know n, and d is seven. This is equal to nine ninety four. So what do we get? N minus one into seven equal to nine ninety four minus one zero five. That is going to be this is four. This is nine. This is eight. Eight ninety four divided by seven. What do you get? N minus one. It is going to be Seven minus the seven, seven to the fourteen, and here seven, seven. This is eight and four. That is going to be seven, seven. Sir. This is going to be this is eight, eight. This is one zero five. So nineteen minus five. This is one zero five. So nine nine four minus one zero five is what? This is fourteen. Okay, nine and four is there. It is not. There is a mistake. Okay, now this is going to be eight. Fourteen minus five is nine, and this will be eight, and this will be eight. So now this is eight, eight eighty nine. Now we will get the correct answer. So now seven ones are seven, seven two is a fourteen, and seven seven is a forty nine. N minus one is one twenty seven, and becomes one twenty seven plus one, which is going to be one twenty eight. So there are one twenty eight numbers between hundred and nine nine nine, which are divisible by seven. Which term of the AP? This is an AP. Will be seventy-two more than the forty-first term. So we have A as eight. Common difference is fourteen minus eight is what? 
so common difference is also known to us it is going to be 6 a is 8 so which term of this ap will be 72 more than its 41st term so a n we don't know it is more than means if a 41 is there it is more than 72 so we have to write like this and uh, this is of course a plus n minus 1 into d so let me write directly 8 plus n minus 1 into d that is 6 it is going to be this is going to be a plus third a plus 40 40 d that is 8 plus 40 into 6 and of course we have 72 so we'll find n and n will be 53 so i hope you'll be able to solve this it is this is just the solution the main idea is to make the equation Find the term of the arithmetic progression, this one, which is 39 more than its 36 term. So, same thing we are going to do. What we are going to do? See, 9a is 9. d is what? 12 minus 9. So, d is 3. So, which term? a n is 39 more than 36 term. So, 36, it is 39 more than 36 term. a n is a plus n minus 1 into d. So, I will write directly the values. 9 plus n minus 1 d is 3 a 36 is a plus that is 9 plus 36 minus 1 35 into d d is 3 plus 39 so we have to solve for n i hope you'll be able to solve so the solution is in front of you and is going to come 49 so you just have to solve for n so 49 term of an ap is 39 more than the 36 term Find the eighth term from the end of AP. Now, we have to start from the end. So, we, we just have a direct formula for that, right? We know the formula which is, uh, you can directly use. The formula is simply L minus N minus 1 into D. That is, the nth term from the end is simply L minus N minus 1 into D. What is L the last term? 184 minus n minus 1 8th term you have to find from the back so 8 minus 1 and what is the common difference 10 minus 7 that is 3 multiply 3 so what do you, what you are going to get 8 184 minus 7 into 3 that is 21 and which is going to be 1 this is 140 184 minus 21 so it, it is going to be 163 let me make it as 163 it is going to be 163. Find the 10th term from the end of the AP. 8, 10, 12, 126. So again, we will use the direct formula. That is L minus N minus 1 into D from the back. So 10th term from the back, so N will be 10. What is L? 126. What is N? 10. 10 minus 1 is, uh, let me write first 10 minus 1. What is D? 10 minus 2, 10 minus 8, that is 2. So 126 minus 9 into 2 is 18. And 126 minus 18 is going to be 108. This is your 10th term. The sum of 4th and 8th term of an AP is 24. And the sum of 6th and 10th term is 44. Find the arithmetic progression. So the sum of 4th and 8th term, that is A4 plus A8 is of the term is 24. So this is a plus 3d and this is a plus 7d. This is your 24. So you have 2a plus this 3 plus 7 is 10d. This is going to be 24. Just divide it by 2. So a plus 5d equal to 24. This is your first equation. The second equation is the 6th and 10th term is 44. So a6, a6 plus a10 is 44. That is a plus 5d plus a plus 9d is equal to 44. So 2a plus 14d equal to 44 divided by 2. a plus 7d equal to 44. Now use this. a plus 5d equal to 24 here. Subtract them. So this is 2d. 44 minus 24 is what? This is 20. So d will be equal to uh, d. This is 7d minus. So we just have to divide it, right? So a plus this is this is 22. This is going to be 22, right? After dividing, this is going to be 22. And this is a plus 5d is 14. 
So I'm just changing it. A plus 7D is 22 and A plus 5D is 14. Right? 14 and this is going to be 22. So 22 minus 14 is what? It is going to be 6 plus 2, 6, 22 minus A plus 2A, 44 minus 44 we, we can just divide and uh, this is 7D, this is 5D, 7 minus 5 is 2 and 44 minus this uh, 22 minus 1, this is going to be 12, 12 is 10. This is going to be 10. So D will be 10 by 2. It's going to be 5. So D is 5, right? And when D is 5, you can easily find out by taking any of these equations. Let me take, uh, say, this one. A plus 5D equal to 12. This one I'm taking. So A is to be found out. D is 5. So 5 into 5 equal to 12. A plus 25 equal to 12. A will be equal to 12 minus 25, which is going to be equal to minus 13. So A is minus 13. Now we start with minus 13. Minus 13 is first number. And add this 5. Minus 13 plus 5 is? It's minus 7. Minus 7 plus 5 is minus 2. Likewise, this is the AP we are in search of. Which term of the AP is this? Will be 120 more than 21st term. So let us take uh, this because A is known, A is 3, D is also known, 13, 15 minus 3 that is going to be 12 and which term that is AN is 120 more than 21st term. So 120 more than 21st term. So AN is A plus N minus 1 into D and this will be A plus 20D. So I will write the direct numbers, right? So A plus N minus 1 into D, so A 3 plus n minus 1 into d 12 equal to 120 plus a plus 20 d so a i am writing 3 plus 20 into d it is 12 so we have to solve for n let us solve it this is going to be 3 plus 12 n minus 12 equal to 120 plus this is 3 plus 12 20 into 12 is it is 24 to 40. Okay. Bring uh, the, because there is one n term, bring everything here. Bring everything here. So 3 minus 12 is minus 9 and it is going to be plus 9 here. So 12 n will be equal to 120, 120, this is 9 plus 3 is 12. So 120 plus 240 plus 12. So 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 372. So it is going to be 12, 3 is 36, it is 1, n equal to 31. So 31st term, 31st term of an AP is 120 more than 21st term. If 17th, 17th term of an AP is 5 more than twice its 8th term, and if the 11th term, an FA, term of an AP is 43, find the nth term. So in this question, we will first write this one. If the 11th term of, of an AP is 43, so 11 term is A11 which is A plus 10D, this is going to be 43. So this is our first equation. Second equation will be formed like this. The 17th term that is A17 is 5 more than twice. So 5 more than twice 8th term, 2 8th term. Now let us write it like this, A plus 16D equal to 5 plus 2 into a plus 7d. So a plus 16d equal to 5 plus 2a plus 14d. So we get a we get one more equation like this. This is one equation, this is another equation. So what do we get? Let us take uh, this is a d d here and or you can take a let's take d here and at a here or like 14 16 minus 14 will be any anyways one will come as negative so uh, it doesn't matter where we take so a plus 16d let us take a and d here to keep constant here a plus 16d minus 2a minus 14d equal to 5 
So this is going to be a minus uh, 2a is minus a and 16 minus 14 is 2d equal to 5. So now let us write this a plus 10d equal to 43. Just add these two. So it is going to be a plus, uh, what do we get? a plus 2d. So 2d and 10d is 12d and this is going to be 43, 43 plus 5 is 48. So 12, 4 is a 48. So d is going to be 4. Now we can put it here. So a plus 10 into 4 is 43. So a, this is 40, 40 goes here, 43 minus 40 is what? 3. So a is 3 and d is 4. Now you can write the nth term. nth term is what? a n is a plus n minus 1 into d. Now you know a n, a n d. So a is 3 plus n minus 1 into what is d? It's 4. 3 plus 4n minus 4, you get 4n minus 1. This is your nth term here. Find the number of all three digit numbers which are divisible by 9. So, what are these number divisible by 9? For this, first of all, we have to find out uh, that what are these three digit numbers. So, first three digit number is 100 because just before that 99 is there, which is a two digit number. So, first three digit number is 100 and this is a natural number and what is the last number of three digit 999. So what is the first number which is divisible by 9 because here the last number is seems to be divisible divisible by 9. So our L is 999 but we have to find say 108 will be the first number which is divisible by 9. So our, our series is 108 up till 999. So this is A, this is L. A and L are known, we can just use this formula that L is, this is 999 is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. A is 108 and we don't know but D is what? It is divisible by 9. So every element or every uh, term of this AP will have a difference of 9. So 108, just subtract this. So this will be 198 equal to N minus 1 by 9, N minus into 9. Just divide it by 9. What do you get? You get uh, uh, 999 minus 108. So it is going to be 1, 9, and right. So this will be uh, 9, 9, 9 is 81. Then again, 9, 9 is 81. So 99 is n minus 1, 1 goes here and will be equal to 100. So there are 100 terms between 100 and 999 which are divisible by 9. So this is one more part of uh, the discussion we are having on AP. We will take one more part of this exercise. Till then, thank you so much. Take care of yourself.